Freshen up your morning. Pacific Mornings with Aggie and Alpha. Good morning to you. It is now 25 minutes to 8 o'clock. You're tuning in to Pacific Mornings with uh, Aggie and Alpha right here at 531 PI. Joining us online this morning is the Bachelor of Nursing Pacific Program Manager for 50 Day, uh, Tanya Malane, to tell us a little bit more about their services and offering this year for those of our community who are, you know, just looking around and wanted to upskill or if you have uh, recently looking at changing careers, um, what are some of the options available out there? So on that note, uh, Atta Maria, and welcome to the program, Tanya. Atta Maria, Nisa Yandra, thank you for having me. Look, um, let's get right into the cracks of it all. Tell us a little bit more about the uh, Battle of Nursing, the Pacific program, Fama Namuli. Oh, Manaka. Um, the Pacific Battle of Nursing uh, Pacific at Fiti Day has um, run for the last 16 years. Um, it was developed by Dr. Margaret Sudwick um, in response to Pacific learners needing a, um, a safe uh, academic and cultural space for them to succeed um, onto a Bachelor of Nursing program. Over the last 16 years, uh, the program is the highest um, um, has the highest numbers of, of graduates. Over 250 um, have, have graduated into our health workforce, which is, is quite significant. And it's been um, hugely successful in supporting specific learners um, and their communities to be able to access a program that, uh, re uh, that reflects them um, culturally, um, as well as gives them the professional and academic skills and knowledge that they need to be uh, nurses out, out here, out in the community. Why do you uh, think there is a need for programs such as the Pacific Nursing, uh, sorry, the Bachelor for Nursing Pacific? I think it reflects um, the uh, people who identify as Pacific. I think it reflects who they are and where they come from. It enables them to have a learning environment um, that is supportive, um, but also importantly, holistically um, looks after them um, and supports them to be successful in a um, higher learning um, education. Um, the other um, need is that um, many of our Pacific communities do access the healthcare system. Um, and we, we just don't have the workforce that, um, that is able to meet their needs um, to better outcomes. So the more people we have working in our health workforce that look like our Pacific community, that sound like them, that understand them, then there's going to be a better chance that our Pacific community can um, have um, greater, better lives, have better health outcomes and live longer. Um, so that, that's ultimately what the goal is. Now, in terms of uh, work options for the graduates of the Bachelor of Nursing uh, Pacific Program, uh, what are some of the options that we uh, look forward to? So with, a, with a degree in nursing, um, your options have just increased significantly. Um, so you, you have your, um, your clinical roles, such, such as a DHB, you have your primary um, healthcare roles out in the community. Um, you have your, um, you know, through the lifespan, everything looking after, um, you know, um, infants to children, um, teenagers. We have nurses, uh, aged care, we have nurses working in schools. Um, I just heard of a nurse who works with WINS um, in our, um, you know, social development area. Um, and such as us who are in education and research, it really is a, is a wonderful degree which can take you to places that traditionally people wouldn't think nurses um, would, would be. You can go on to get your master's, your doctorate. Um, you can go and, um, you know, have significant roles that can contribute positively um, to, um, you know, Pacific communities and other communities um, out there. So it just is, and I think it's just gone up after COVID to one of the most um, needed, um, uh, the needed workforce. So, you know, COVID has brought a whole lot of opportunities um, that, that um, have been created and need to be filled quite fast. So it's, it's just a, a fantastic opportunity um, to be able to pick and choose where you want to work, how you want to work and who you'd like to work with. Now, for today, uh, it has a history that dates back to 1986 when some of the programs were established. How does it help up and meet the needs of Pacific learners? So um, originally, um, Fitira was um, the whenua that we were on uh, was gifted from Nati Toa um, from the from the you know tangata whenua. 
So it was gifted for the purpose of meeting the needs of the community. And I think Fitiga has held on to that, um, that, that um, aspiration really well. Um, so we are here to meet the needs of our community. We're here for a community. We wouldn't be as successful as we are without our community and specifically our Pacific community, um, which is just within Porirua and the wider region, is just a, a really um, integral part of the community. So we have many Pacific who come here. We're one of the uh, top um, uh, education providers. Our success rates for Pacific and Māori uh, have been um, in, in the top um, uh, group for the last four years. Um, and we have, you know, most, Pacific that come here, they have a high chance of successfully graduating with the qualification that they started with, which sort of um, does buck the trend of other, you know, education institutes that haven't done that so well. So I think Fitira with um, with integrity and and genuinely has engaged with the community, understands Pacific community, and is able to meet their needs um, academically and culturally. I've got and we celebrate Pacific with really well. So that's been um, interwoven into um, into the um, foundation of, of what Fiti Dao stands for. Hmm. Marlo, we've got a question on our live at the moment. It says, are there any scholarships available and how would one apply? So there are, um, there are scholarships. Uh, there's a new um, uh, sort of leadership um, Pacific Mentoring Leadership Program that we're just engaging with with an outside um, organisation that we're looking at how how we can um, financially support um, more. We have fitted our scholarships. Ministry of Health has just given um, funding to this new initiative, which I'll know actually more information about today. Um, so there will be information on the website, on the fitted our website, there is also information on the Ministry of Health website about other scholarships, um, but there's certainly something in the pipeline that's um, going to be more formalised and definitely looking at undergrad um, nursing students and how we, um, you know, mentor and support them um, academically, culturally, but also financially through these three years and then into the workforce and that um, mentoring and support continues. Okay. Uh, finally, Tiny, before I let you go, um, just to make sure for those of our community that are wondering at the moment, uh, do you have places available for this academic year? Um, how can they apply? And and lastly, just a little I'll repeat again of those details of how they can get more information with regards to those two questions. Sure, we, we do have places. Um, our first year of our semester is on Tuesday. Um, but we still are, are interviewing. Um, the, the, one of the, um, the uniqueness of the Bachelor of Pacific Nursing program, not only that it reflects um, Pacific learners, who they are and where they're from, we also um, we have numbers in our class uh, that, are, you know, that are really manageable. Um, so we, we have a class of around 40, um, which is, keeps it really um, you know, personable, um, and we're able to tailor um, the academic and, and cultural needs to each person, but also, most importantly, be learner centric. Um, if you'd like for more information, um, my phone number is 027 217 9593. That's 027 217 9593. We also have the Fitiraya. Website, uh, which is www.fitiraya.ac.nz, um, and we also have an 0800 number, which is 0800 944 847. If you ring that number, ask for Tania from the Bachelor of Nursing Pacific, they'll put you through. She may get a message to me. Um, so certainly, we, we're happy uh, to take inquiries. Um, and you know we, you know the the potential is there for you to start. It would have to be start next week, next Tuesday. Um, but look forward to anyone uh, that would like a cordial about the program. Kia ora for that. Tanya Malane, uh, Program Manager for Pacific, uh, Bachelor of Nursing Pacific from Fitereya. Hagatai uh, lasi for your time this morning, and thank you very much. Thank you.